Hi guys, uh, Fat Tony ninety two and Richie Roberts here from Fat Dog Studios. If you didn't know, uh, Toei has been under some hot water lately, and that's putting it the nicest way possible. Uh, you're gonna get our unfiltered opinions, by the way. So just be warned. It's about damn time. Uh, it's it. There's gonna be a lot of cursing in this video, so just bear with it. Oh yeah. Tony's extra salty about this topic, and understandably so. Uh, not just because of the fact of what happened to Totally Not Mark, but if you haven't seen the video where he explains what happens to his channel, and he's got more of a case than we do uh, as far as, like, mm -hmm. hi, how he approaches the fandom versus what we're doing with abridging and parody and all that stuff. And you can argue what is and is not fair use. That's not what the purpose of this video is. But if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video first, then come back. We'll put the link in the out. description. Yeah. Link will be in the description, so... All right, give it, yeah. give it a second. Okay, welcome back. So now that you've seen that video... <laughs> I was like, wait, what are we waiting on? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I had, dude, we're going to be extra salty. I have to make at least some jokes while we're here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, that's a good point. A lot of what he talked about kind of happened to us, but, uh, and, and while we're very familiar, okay, first off, I need to get my time straight. This started in 2019, correct? Yeah. Okay, so um, it was yeah. December 2019 carried over to January 2020, and that's when we lost the channel, yep. and then it was December 2020 uh, kind of happened again. Uh, we didn't lose Into, the channel. We didn't lose the channel. But it got damn channel, close. But it got damn close. And then, like, literally a month later, we lost our MCN. Yep. 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 And so, if the M if that if the MCN had left us before that, we would not be here right now. Yeah. This it'd be over. So uh, a couple of things we want to go ahead and address. So first off. What happened? Tony, what happened? <laughs> so, uh, for those of you uh, who probably... Specifically the Toei stuff. Specifically the Toei yeah, stuff. So, yeah, so specifically, how this ties to us uh, in regards to th this whole situation was we did a One Piece Alabasta abridged. And the first episode was wildly successful. I mean, we're talking... It, it, was, it broke 400,000 views in two weeks. Was... I mean, this was... This was easily our most successful video ever made. It was one hundred. I mean, thing. I mean, it and Slime came out around the same time, and they were kind of bouncing back and forth, kind of competing in views. And we were just giddy. We were like, "People like our new stuff." <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and then so, something happened, and just fucking to the goddamn moon with One Piece, and and that was like, it was incredible. Anyway, so uh, obviously, because life is life, we can't have nice things. And uh, Toei struck down our first episode of One Piece, uh, which again, nothing really new. That's Toei doing Toei. Yeah. And and we we knew that that was just business as usual, and we were going through our normal steps. And we had the MCN at the time. Uh, you'll have to explain what MCM is for people that don't know. Multi-channel network. Basically, it is a protective layer between us and the copyright bullshit. Because we are smaller channels. Unless you are above a certain, uh, if unless you are a certain size, you do not get a representative from YouTube. You don't get a um, a, man a manager, I guess. And so, if companies come after you using the very well established broken ass copyright system because we have zero recourse. The only way for us to stay afloat and fight it was to effectively sign on to an MCN who took a portion of our profits and turned monetization on, on literally every single video that they could. We, that, that option was actually taken away from us. We did not have a choice for a lot of our videos being monetized. They were just like, Nope, you're M you're a part of us now. This is on. And that's your contractual agreement. Yeah. Uh, and then they they took a part uh, a piece of our uh, pie, as it were, and however and to, small it might have been. To be fair, we weren't upset about that. Like th this is sounding, no, this no. is sounding like uh, we got a raw deal. This was actually okay. 
But when you say yeah. when we're sitting here, we're trying to clarify that when we say, hey, support the official release, this is we didn't actually have a disclaimer that said this is a nonprofit fan base parody, even though I think at some points we probably should. But at the same time, understand that when there were ads putting on a bridge stuff, that wasn't us. Like we yep. our, our our stance is not to put ads on a bridge stuff. Uh, well, it, we will be in the future, but we'll have a discussion about that because it's it's literally yeah. us doing 90 percent of the work from now on. But we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of clarify in case anybody was confused about, oh, they were taking like 50 percent. No, no, it wasn't like that. But they no. were taking a percentage no. of like our ad revenue and our views and that. And, yep. and we were fine. And, and in return, if companies or rather not if when companies abused the system we could basically send uh, our mcn to wag their fin finger menacingly at you know the abusive stepfather that is youtube to send our counterclaims through they would they would fight on our behalf <laughs> yeah i'm not incorrect okay <laughs> yeah you're just confusing <laughs> anyway so that's an mcn mm -hmm. and so Toei ended up going after our One Piece Alabasta Bridge episode one. Uh, uh, and YouTube arbitrarily decided, you know, fuck you. Fuck you. This isn't fair use. Um, we are not going to forward this to the claimant. And you're just stuck holding the bag. Fuck off. I, it, and, it's, very much, it's very much similar to the situation. Like almost eerily similar to the situation that Totally Not Mark is going through. Uh, where, where well, actually, just, I would argue. It's just. It, I would argue, it's Mark. Kind of, it's kind of just radio silence from YouTube. Yeah, that part is. Well, it, I, on, well, mm, yes and no. We we actually have a slightly different situation. In totally Mark, not Mark's case, YouTube is not standing in the way of him submitting the counterclaims. They're not helping, but neither are they hindering. They were actively hindering us. Okay. So it's, it's a slightly different situation and in some ways worse uh, it, because at least at least he has recourse. Granted, it is slow as fuck, but he has recourse and he can get the videos restored. We did not have that option, even with the MCN. And, and so the turnaround time on strikes was insane, too. Like, oh, we absolutely. Got strikes, we got strikes within like days and we had three mm -hmm. strikes and the channel actually did go down. And yep. Uh, now we should probably explain why December, and I'll take over on this one real quick. Yep. Uh, this is now this is my theory, but I think it's a good theory. It's a YouTube. No, it's theory. it's not a theory. It's it's not a theory anymore. Actually, uh, our contact from uh, our MCN actually confirmed this. This this is they a thing. They do this. So. They do this in December. Toei does this stuff in December, and it's not just our channel. They'll go through a bunch of people's channels just before the holidays and hit them and put strikes on their channels uh, as a way to take down their channels while employees that work for YouTube are on holiday break. So there's no one there from YouTube's end that we can talk with and the time goes by and you lose your channel. That's essentially definitely what happened to us the first time. If we didn't have the NCM yep. fighting so hard for us the second time, we would have lost the channel twice. Now that's mm -hmm. they specifically do this as a predatory thing to make sure that they can take channels down without YouTube's involvement. They can just on yep. their own take a channel down because you don't have you don't have a person that you can contact, so the time to actually contact somebody to get this taken care of expires and there goes your channel. It's just yeah. And recovering a channel is not an easy process. Just know that. Yep. Like, we're lucky yep. that it took us only, a, like, a couple of months. And we've never recovered. Yeah, we've never recovered. So this is this is the next part. How did this hurt the channel? Uh, so, our one, just just for just from a One Piece standpoint, just, just focusing on just One Piece alone, our first episode, because we had to re-upload it because uh, YouTube was unwilling to do anything with the original episode. This, the, the next episode that we uh, brought up, you know, we re-uploaded episode one, and YouTube, I guess, didn't have a problem with that one because um, at that point, they were suppressing it. They, they were actively suppressing it. We have proof. And, and it ain't we went One from Piece. it's across the board. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It, it, yeah, and and we'll we'll get to that. But so One Piece, the previously uh, mentioned 
episode that had upwards of 400,000 views in the span of two weeks. It took us two months to break 10,000 views on our second episode. And that trend followed all of our videos, not just our One Piece, all of our videos. Our our Log Horizon, our, what we are arguably known best for, it, it went from averaging 15,000 views in the first hour to 15,000 views in the first week to a month. Literally, literally, I'm looking at uh, Log Horizon episode 12 part 2 and episode 12 part 1. Between the two videos, we don't even have 100,000 views. It's 41,000 to 32,000 uh, on those two videos. Like, when we say that the channel going down hurt, it like... People are people that are subscribed are not getting notifications because we have like sixty six something uh, thousand subscribers, I, and they're. Not I had a I had a I had a fan last month. I she, I had a fan last month. Um, I I ran into them while playing Final Fantasy. Actually, mm -hmm. we we just ran into each other playing Final Fantasy. They did not know the channel was back up. They thought we were still. They thought we were gone. We've been back for a, almost a full year now. Yeah. No. Well, no, no uh, we've been years. no because we didn't go down initially. Two years, sorry. Yeah, we we've, we've been back we've been for almost back two since, years. They didn't fucking know. January, we've been back since January of twenty twenty. Yeah, they yeah. didn't fucking know. They had no idea. Yeah. They're like, no shit, you guys are back. Holy shit, what's what's been put out? And I listened to all the stuff. They damn near had a fucking heart attack. They lost, and they they logged off. They're like, nah, I I got I got binging to do. See ya. <laughs> 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 which, is great, which is great that you were able to have that moment, but it's shit because so many people don't know. And of course, nobody's not enough people are going to see this video unless you guys go out there and share it. You got to talk about it. And of course, you know, yep. I, I, I kind of agree with what uh, Pyro was saying. A bridging is dying. It just mm -hmm. straight up is. Uh, yep. And that sucks. But I mean, and it's it's not it's not due to lack of interest. It, yeah, it's it not. is. It's the platform. The platform fucking despises us. YouTube I, is arguably just as bad, if not worse, than fucking Toei Animation and all these Japanese companies who... No, not just Japanese companies. All of these companies that thumb their nose at fair use and abuse this copyright system because YouTube is fucking complacent about it. They don't give a shit. Because when it comes down to it, they're going to side with the company over the creator, even though creators are the ones that make them the money. Yep. Oh, because, you know, oh because they're you, because you fucking, the ad money. You, because the ad money, that's all they're for. Because they're like, oh, we're afraid of being sued. Who cares? Okay. Oh, so, you know, YouTube, YouTube, your content creators are suffering. We're dying on the vine. Help us. Remove dislike button. You're welcome. How does that help? How does that help? Now we're not going to. It only helps the corporations. Like, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. They're like, people are abusing the dislike button. Yeah, because we're not saying... I mean, we're going to miss those eight people that dislike every video. No, that was actually something that we liked. Like, yeah. we love that We love that people hate watch us. That's fucking great. That's great, yeah. <laughs> so, how did this affect the Fat Dog cast? Honestly, it didn't really. Like, the, the, the overall cast, it didn't really affect them that much. Uh, it, it more affected uh, the production side of things. Like... All of yeah. our editors, of course, Tony and I, writers, directors, things like that. People that are a lot more directly involved. So if you're wondering how did it affect our voice actors, I mean, they just lived their lives. Like, it, wasn't, yep. it wasn't too invasive. But for the rest of us, we were in a fucking panic. Uh, and and honestly, it kind of sucks that a lot of views aren't out there. I, I wish we could. I wish we had the budget to just go to conventions you know, mm -hmm. at least like one a month and to, just be like, Hey, to, we to, exist. You know, to put, to put this in perspective, the amount that this has hurt the channel in terms of production and in terms of our monthly revenue, mm -hmm. we have gone down um, like from, from la this time last year or rather, but you know, at, at the height of everything our, our and, and this is public knowledge. You can go to our Patreon and how much we, we made a month. You know, we we have we've gone down from around fourteen hundred a month from our Patreon to now just north of six hundred. Like we we've we've gone super far down, and and it's because you know we're we're our growth has stagnated to almost completely stunted. So as a result, I, ironically, our ironically, we're putting out more content than ever, but we're not getting the traffic mm -hmm. for it. 
exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, what positive things came from this? Well, we learned a lot. You tell me. Uh, yeah. uh okay. <laughs> we got our asses seriously in gear about our independent project. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, I suppose we, you're right. We stopped, we stopped going, this would be nice about our IPs. And we're like, all right, I guess we're fucking doing this. <laughs> like we mm-hmm. started, we started throwing like resources and money at our IPs. And it became something that we actively are working on on the channel. And like, like constantly, I'm working on Infinity's Light stuff, and I know you guys are working on we're, Check a lot. Yeah. Yep, we're we're working on the visual novel that will be on Steam at some point in the future, soon ish. <laughs> in the future, uh, fucking you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to pull a Futurama to see it. <laughs> So also this is this has basically become a behind the scenes thing where we're kind of all in agreement. Uh, fuck Toei, and mm-hmm. we will not be actively trying to do any Toei project. Like we're not going to tell you what to support and what not to. And I've already given my thoughts about how little I care about Dragon Ball Super. Like I, I think mm-hmm. it's I think it's past Dragon time. Ball GT is better than Super, but don't at me. Wow. Don't don't at me. I don't actually care about either. I've, I've, <laughs> like, but I, honestly, by the time Super came out, I was burnt out on Dragon Ball just in general, except for the abridged. It was like too little, too late, bro. And you wouldn't even yeah. have a Dragon Ball Super if it was if not, not for, for TFS abridged. Yeah, if it wasn't mm-hmm. for Dragon Ball Z abridged, there would not be enough of a hype to warrant having Dragon Ball even come back in the four. So. Oh yeah, no, it's. Uh, yeah, keep biting the hand that feeds you. Eventually, you're gonna, you're no longer gonna get fed, and companies are gonna start running out of money. I love One Piece. I just want to clarify. Fuck Toei, but I love One Piece. I will mm-hmm. not actively support or watch One Piece, uh, anymore. I still read One Piece because Shonen Jump money does not go to Toei. So I want that. I want that to be 100 percent clear. I'm still supporting Shonen Jump. I'm still supporting Oda. I'm not saying to uh, hate on uh, all the people. And the other people that I feel sorry for are the people who have the no actors. decision making. The actors, the directors, yep. the producers, the, the people that work hard on these things that have nothing to do with this copyright nonsense. I feel really bad for them, but it is what it is. And the the simple fact is... They're not going to stop this shit until there are major consequences. So you yep. want to tell Toei to fuck off and stop? Hit him, boycott hit him in the only place that it hurts, their wallet. Yep. Like once Bo- the spe- Bo- Bo- Boycott that new stupid-ass Dragon Ball Super movie. Uh, well, I wasn't going to tell them to do that. They can make No, their, no. Their boycott that shit. Uh, make boycott that mind. shit. Stand in solidarity with Oh, him. God. You want to be salty about some shit? Everybody immediately go watch the new Sword Art movie to hell with Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Sword Art, and I'm telling talk you to about, go do it. Talk, talk about, about Hate it. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even available where I am. Oh, man. All right. So there you go. That is basically uh, what all. Uh, what are your final thoughts that you wanted to say real quick before we cross? Um... Before we leave. So the the final thoughts are it, it's not just these companies, it is also YouTube's complacency. They are actively working against the creators because they don't care. And they won't care. And clearly, as you They're, can see, it's not just us. Which in, in a really weird, morbid way is oddly comforting. <laughs> like I'm so, I'm sorry it's happening to other people. I really am. Misery loves but like company. it Exactly. It's really weird. And I'm so sorry that ever, anyone else is going through this, but it feels so good not to be alone. Right. Like, like the, the, the solidarity that the internet as a whole, not just the anime community is showing in support of fuck YouTube and fuck toy animation gives me goddamn life in a time right now that I need it more than ever. <laughs> Uh, is it still trending? Because I know it was trending. A little I don't. Ago. I'm not. I don't. I don't think so. But I. I don't know. Honestly, uh, I have no idea. Because I know. I know it was trending for two days, and it got over. Uh, it was over like twenty thousand or something. I was like, yeah, yeah. It, it. It just. It's weird. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for this. We really, really appreciate it, and. Uh, 
we'll see you next time, hopefully with some more information about what's coming up. Yeah. Bye-bye for now. See you guys.